for the entire trip. Those points, that is, that is the ratio of the rise x. 10.4 kilometers to the run T0.62 H, which gives us VAV 16.8 kilometers per hour. Need suppose that to pump the gasoline, pay for it, and walk back to the truck takes you another 45 minutes. What is your average speed from the beginning of your drive to your return to the truck with the gasoline? Key idea. Your average speed is the ratio of the total distance you move to the total time interval you take to make that move. Calculation. The total distance is 8.4 kilometers, 2.0 kilometers, 2.0 kilometers, 12.4 kilometers. The total time interval is 0.12H, 0.50H, 0.75H, 1.37H. Thus, EQ.23 gives us SAB X 12 10 12.4 kilometers 1.37H 9.1 kilometers per hour. Driving ends, walking starts, station, position KM, 2468, 0, walking, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, time H, 0 0.6, T, answer, slope of this line gives average velocity, how far? Increment x equals 10.4 kilometers. How long? Increment t equals 0.62 h. Figure 2 to 5 the lines marked. Driving and walking are the position time plots for the driving and walking stages. The plot for the walking stage assumes a constant rate of walking. The slope of the straight line joining the origin and the point label, station, is the average velocity for the trip, from the beginning to the station. Driving. Additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley Plus. 18. Chapter 2 Motion along a straight line. 2-2 Instantaneous Velocity and Speed. Learning Objectives After reading this module, you should be able to 2.07 Given a particle's position is a function of time, calculate the instantaneous velocity for any particular time. Key Ideas 2.08 Given a graph of a particle's position versus time, determine the instantaneous velocity for any particular time. 2.09 Identify speed as the magnitude of the instantaneous velocity. Fill circle the instantaneous velocity, or simply velocity, v of a moving particle is v, limb, t, Zero, x, t, where x, x, 2, x, 1, and t, t, 2, t, 1. V, x, d, t. Fill circle the instantaneous velocity at a particular time may be found as the slope at that particular time of the graph of x versus t. Fill circle speed is the magnitude of instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous Velocity and Speed You have now seen two ways to describe how fast something moves. Average Velocity and Average Speed, both of which are measured over a time interval t. However, the phrase, how fast, more commonly refers to how fast a particle is moving at a given instant. Its instantaneous velocity, or simply velocity, versus the velocity at any instant is obtained from the average velocity by shrinking the time interval t close 
closer and closer to zero. As T dwindles, the average velocity approaches a limiting value, which is the velocity of that instant. P, lim, x, t, dx dt, t, zero, to the four. Note that versus is the rate at which position x is changing with time at a given instant, that is, v is the derivative of x with respect to t. Also note that v at any instant is the slope of the position time curve at the point representing that instant. Velocity is another vector quantity and thus has an associated direction. Speed is the magnitude of velocity, that is, speed is velocity that has been stripped of any indication of direction, either in words or via an algebraic sign. Caution! Speed and average speed can be quite different. A velocity of 5 meters per second and one of 5 meters per second both have an associated speed of 5 meters per second. The speedometer in a car measures speed, not velocity, it cannot determine the direction. Checkpoint 2 The following equations give the position x t of a particle in four situations. In each equation, x is in meters, t is in seconds, and t. 3x2 t2 and 4x 0 1 x 3 t 2 2 x 4 t 2 2 2 a in which situation is the velocity versus of the particle constant b in which is b in the negative x direction sample problem 2.02 velocity and slope of x versus t elevator cab Figure 2 to 6a is an xt plot for an elevator cab that is initially stationary, then moves upward which we take to be the positive direction of x and then stops. Plot versus t. Key idea. Calculations. The slope of xt, and so also the velocity, is 0 in the intervals from 0 to 1s and from 9s on, so then the cab is stationary. During the interval bc, the slope is constant and non-zero, so then the cab moves with constant velocity. We calculate the slope of xt then as find the velocity at any time from the slope of the xt curve at that time. x, t, v, 24 meters 4.0 meters 8.0 s, 3.0 s, 4.0 meters per second, 2 to 5, 2 to instantaneous velocity and speed. 19, x, 25, position m, 20, 15, 10, 05, x equals 24 meters at t equals 8.0 s, x, t, x equals 4.0 meters at t equals 3.0 s, a, 1, 2, b, 3, 4, 5, increment t, 6, t, c, increment x, 7, t, 09, a, time s, a, b, slope of x, t, slopes on the x versus t graph are the values on the v versus t graph, b, c, velocity, meter per second, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 1, 2. Figure 2 to 6a, the xt curve for an elevator cab that moves upward along an x-axis. V the vt curve for the cab. Note that it is the derivative of the xt curve v. Vxvtc, the at curve for the cab. It is the derivative of the vt curve, a dv vt. The stick figures 
along the bottom suggest how a passenger's body might feel during the acceleration. Acceleration meter per second to oh, one, two, three, four. The plus sign indicates that the cab is moving in the positive X direction. These intervals where V0 and V4 meters per second are plotted in big point to six feet. In addition, as the cab initially begins to move and then later slows to a stop, V varies as indicated in the intervals 1s to 3s and 8s to 9s. Thus, big, 2 to 6v is the required plot. Figure 2 to 6c is considered in module 2 to 3. Given A versus T graph such as fig, 2 to 6b, we could work backward to produce the shape of the associated XT graph fig, 2 to 6a. However, we would not know the actual values for X at various times because the versus T graph indicates only changes in X, to find such a change in X during any N. A, B, T, B, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, time S, B, 7, 8, 9, T, Slopes on the V versus T graph are the values on the A versus T graph. A. Acceleration. A T. A D. B. 1, 2, C. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Deceleration. C. T. 9. What you would feel. Turbo. We must, in the language of calculus, calculate the area, under the curve, on the versus T graph for that interval. For example, during the interval 3s to 8s in which the cab has a velocity of 4.0 meters per second, the change in X is X 4.0 meters per second, 8.0s, 3.0s. 20 meters, 2 to 6. This area is positive because the versus T curve is above the T axis. Figure 2 to 6 shows that X does indeed increase by 20 meters in that interval. However, big, 2 to 6 B does not tell us the values of X at the beginning and end of the interval. For that, we need additional information, such as the value of x at some instant. Additional examples, video, and practice available in Wiley Plus. 20. Chapter 2 Motion Along a Straight Line. 2 to 3 Acceleration. Learning Objectives. After reading this module, you should be able to 2.10 Apply the relationship between a particle's average acceleration, its change in velocity, and the time interval for that change. 2.11 Given a particle's velocity as a function of time, calculate the instantaneous acceleration for any particular time. Key ideas. 2.12 Given a graph of a particle's velocity versus time, determine the instantaneous acceleration for any particular time and the average acceleration between any two particular times. Filled circle average acceleration is the ratio of a change in velocity v to the time interval t in which the change occurs. A A V G P P dot. The algebraic sign indicates the direction of A A B G. Build circle instantaneous.